Back everybody, the Guam Chamber of Commerce, our good friends there, have announced that its Small Business Focus and Development Committee is holding their pre-expo seminar, Back to Basics, How to Reduce the Cost of Running Your Business, a very worthwhile topic, something all of you should check out. Now Rodney Webb and Maureen Maritita are here to tell me about that. Hop it to you both. Good evening. All right, good to see you both. And both of you very involved in the business community, covering it, being a part of it, and also leading it. So, um, what, you know, obviously anybody would want to lower the cost of running their business. You know, that's one of the core uh, principles of management. How are you guys aiming to do that? Well, this has been uh, a very tough year for small businesses uh, across the board, and, and we felt this was a very appropriate theme uh, for this year. So uh, we kind of opened it up to uh, different folks who, who can come up with uh, ideas for lowering the cost of running your business. Um, but you know, it all comes back uh, typically to power and utility management and things of that nature. So there's a lot of green, there's a green emphasis uh, this year. Uh, but we have a super panel to precede the Small Business Expo, uh, made up of uh, a bunch of people who, whose expertise it is in, in lowering the cost of your business. And so we're going to have a very, uh, very good panel discussion preceding the expo itself. Now, does this also involve, obviously, you know, you're talking about operations, but how about like a better financial management itself and the, the, the functions that go into actually managing your money and making sure that, you know, your expenses are, you know, not so exorbitant? Well, um, as a small business consultant, you probably mm. should be doing that, you know, uh, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I think utilities are a huge cost mm -hmm. and, and rising, and so the reason why there's a heavy emphasis on people who can help you reduce energy and utility costs is because that's such a large part of any business's day-to-day -day running. Which I'm sure factors into uh, like use of computers and use of printers, because what we used to call management information systems then became information technology. Now is just generically technology, but I mean that's a huge power consumption right there, but at, at the same time critical. So like, is, does that factor into you know, utility cost? Or? Absolutely, power. And, and also uh, the technology typically has to run 24-7. So if you're running your website or you're running uh, backup systems and things, you don't switch it off at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. it's, it's running the whole time. So it's a significant expense. Okay. And you know, employees, um, I'm sure they try to be energy conscious, but it's easy to leave lights on and computers on. And so um, we're hoping that the ideas that the panel will bring will be useful for people. Even if you are in an existing building, there's some ways you can manage your consumption where the startup cost is perhaps not too excessive. Mm -hmm. And we've asked uh, Mr. Ron Young from Security Title, who's just built uh, a green building here in Guam mm -hmm. to moderate the proceedings. So I, I think he, having having done that from the ground up, I think he'll have a have a great insight into the process and be able to kind of uh, tease out, you know, the information that we want we want to hear. Mm -hmm. Does the whole concept of having a paperless office still hold weight? I mean, that was the big thing to do, you know, three four years ago, and everybody was like, okay, well, we got to put everything on the internet, and now everything's web based, and everything's, you know, you got to have a mobile app to do the most menial of tax and tasks and everything. But I mean, is, is that still like a main focus? Well, we're all sitting here clutching our pieces of yeah. paper. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that um, there's been a trend towards less paper in the office, mm -hmm. but that just means more computer. So um, the, I wouldn't know what the specific ratio is and where the improvements lie, but I'm pretty sure that um, that a lot depends on what devices you use mm -hmm. in your office. It, it's, I, I think it is definitely a trend I mean, because, uh, you know, with key documents, I always find it easy to find key documents on my computer than I do in my filing cabinet, for example. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, increasingly people are going to be wanting to put their wills, their, their title deeds and everything on electronically. And, and then the challenge is, <laughs> as with paper, 
uh, you know, being able to find it when you need it. Mm -hmm. But in general, it's easy to find things on a computer because of the, the fantastic search technology we have today. Keep it in the cloud, as we say. And you know what? I don't want to be a hypocrite, so I'm going to take my papers and just go <laughs> <laughs> not incriminate myself. Uh, but do you plan, um, does the panel, I guess I should say, does the panel plan to cite any case studies about local businesses that are, you know, leading the way or these are, you know, perfect examples of how to do things right? Um, I think they will because the sort of uh, uh, panel that we have are people that are really in business. This is their business, mm -hmm. so they'll be citing examples. I think some of them will be known to uh, the audience and some of them perhaps will not be so familiar. Yes, yeah, so they're all business people. Uh, the majority are local business folks. Um, um, there may be a couple of new uh, new faces there. Uh, Joe Roberto from East Island Tinning. Sure. So he has his uh, car tinning shop, but he's expanding into buildings. So he tints uh, office buildings because it reduces the cost of running buildings now. Um, and uh, we have um, Tony Barcinas from the USDA because they have uh, they have. Um, grants and programs to help you implement business uh, solutions uh, with, with power technologies, with new power technologies. Right. I'll tell you what, we got to go to commercial break, but uh, how can people register? Because I'm sold, I want to check it out. So where do people go to register and how much is it? Um, if they contact the Chamber of Commerce, uh, if you want to join the other 20 plus exhibitors, then um, it's a minimal cost of $40 for non-chamber members. Mm. Um, the uh, expo, I believe, is twenty dollars. It's it's no, it's free to to the public. Free to the public. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. And uh, there, there is a there is a business social mixer attached to the expo itself. So it's a it's our ninth annual event. It's a it's a very full program. If you shop at two o'clock, uh, attend the seminar, and, and then it flows into the expo from four to seven. Uh, you'll have a great time. All right. And we would just quickly like to thank our mixer sponsors, and they are Laurier Industries, National Car Rental, Security Title, and South Pacific Petroleum Corp, who All are right. sponsoring the mixer part of the evening. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much, and good luck.